Alright, West of Loathing. What is up, guys? Uh huh. Go ahead. What? Go ahead. We're doing our intro? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. What is up, guys? This is. Wed Plays Games. I'm playing West of Loathing. I have no. No idea what this game could even be about. And Chris is playing it. Yeah, I'm playing it. And Ryan is here too. And I'm Kevin. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my home. The intro to begin all intros. <laughs> Just me Clearly we haven't done this in a while. <laughs> but Kevin does have one thing right. I don't know anything about this game. <laughs> me neither. So I know I know a smidge a smidge of, of what my friend told me. Who got this for me, by the way. So Shout out to your friend. Yeah, shout out to my friend. You know who you are. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start this thing, why not? <laughs> oh, <laughs> weird! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's a lot of me. Uh, uh, uh... What? So far, far, far. Oh, are you just okay. pressing left and right, or are you shooting? I'm shooting, um, yeah. Oh. What, guessing... are the, what are the numbers? What is this? Oh! So you this me? Me? No! I don't even know what the meat does. Yeah, it's a change of character. character. <laughs> I don't get it. Alright. We, we got 877 meat. How do you change your name? 904 meat now. Do you, do you want to edit our name? Are, are we good with Ethan Cartwright? We have to wait, um... Uh... Oh, no. we could just edit here. Just, <laughs> just okay. Alright. You were making it way more complicated than it needed to be. <laughs> What's the combined of all of our names? What would that be? Oh, you're making me think... K-H-Y-A-N. Uh... Oh, I'm having to do a lot of thinking. Ry... Ryzen? No, Ryzen. <laughs> no. Ryzen. You know my name has an I, not <laughs> an <Yeah>, Whatever. <laughs> Is that how you thought my name was spelled this entire time? K -E -N? No. Because I took okay. the... Okay. <laughs> Double E. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to be like, bro. <laughs> This How many times least. have you seen me spell my name? <laughs> this is the least cowboy name. I'm okay, okay, no, wait, <laughs> we can't. Well, what's a good cowboy name then? Yo, Billy the Kid. You got good old John Wayne. You got Living Like Larry. Clint Eastwood. You got Two Face Rat Tail. Uh, I don't know. How's this? I like Billy John. Billy, Billy John with the two eyes. Billy yeah. John John. Or should we do Billy? <laughs> it's E L L E. <laughs> Since I don't know how to spell Kevin's name. Billy. Billy John. Billy John. Bell John. Bell John. That's who we are. Bell John. <laughs> it's the. It's the. Oh, that was the first name. Well, John. John Bell. I'm not kind of like Cartwright. Cartwright worked with Bell John. Bell John Cartwright. Bell John Cartwright. All right. It's a, it's a gender neutral name. Let's go. Bell John. Here we go. Bell. Yeah, I'm ready. What? All right, we're <laughs> cow puncher, <laughs> beast, water, <laughs> snake oil. <laughs> I'm kind of partial to the cow puncher. <laughs> it's so silly. I do like how funny the bean slinger is, though. 
that, that caught me off guard. I'm kind of a fan of good old snake oiling over here. <laughs> he loaded the gun. gun. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, it's a three way tie again. Uh, Pick what your heart tells you. What my you heart have a three sided dice. I don't have a. I have a four sided. So I can play this again as another class. Well, looks like we're slinging beans. Bean slinger! <laughs> Magic and cooking are intrinsically intertwined and living, or extricably intertwined. And the bean slinger is a mystical master of both. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out, in we out west since the cows came home. Due to the most, due to most of the cooks having been brutally killed by the cows. <laughs> yeah. Wait, can we can read all of Yeah, let's go read. Let's go read all of them. The cow yeah. uprising. Cow punchers solve their problems with their fists, whether it's shaking them at a disagreeable feller in a disreputable saloon, or using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable feller in a slightly less reputable saloon. <laughs> You've heard that cow punches are in demand out west since the cows came home. Which stands to reason, the cows aren't going to punch themselves after all. That's pretty good. I like that. And a snake snake oiler. oiler has to be like a dick, right? Snake oilers rely on their moxie and their chutzpah to tame snakes, their fearlessness to extract potent oils from those snakes, and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. You've heard snake oilers are doing really well out west since the cows came home. Everybody needs potions. Hope in these dead dark days, and also out west is where all the best snakes live. <laughs> As an aside, I think that's good spot. I've never seen it spelled out before. I, yeah, I've never. Is that what that word is? <laughs> I think it's good spot. I've right. never seen that word before. Now, after reading those those descriptions, has your mind changed? Are we still bean slinging? I think we need to be- dude, all the cooks are dead. This is our chance to rise up. <laughs> Hell yeah. We, we can make the best the goddamn there's beans. A, there's a power vacuum. It's the power vacuum and we can fill it with our <laughs> beans. Okay, so, WASD oh, to move. What a great poster. <laughs> <laughs> this weird poster <laughs> up here here one night. <laughs> you read the spine of one of your books, The Treasures of the Ancient Cave. Dad gave me this one when I was a kid. Adam Hardy and the incident of at Monster Outhouse. <laughs> that sounds so gross. Goodbye, Des. Oh, we can comb our hair. Comb hair. One last time. <laughs> you got one XP. Your gumption. Uh, get up and get her done. I hire it as Get her in. Nice. Goodbye, photograph. Oh, the music stopped. <laughs> oh, okay. Put it back on. on. <laughs> hey, Russell, how you doing? Call. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Call. 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 I'm gonna feed you a cricket. Grab a kick cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. Oh man, he look at this appreciatively choice. and nuzzles your hand. Well, I don't know when we're gonna be back. Maybe we should let our bird go. We got beans to sling, dude. We're not coming back. <laughs> Maybe we're it's time for you to leave, too. You open your bedroom window, not pictured, and unlatch the door to <laughs> Russell's cage. He winks at you, calls one last time, then flies away to the west. Damn. Oh, there are oh, no Russell. there are no windows pictured. <laughs> it was nice knowing Russell Crowe. <laughs> Boo. Boo. <laughs> oh, we can stack our firewood. Hell yeah. Another XP. Oh, three more XP and we level up. Nothing, Nothing on the today. <laughs> I, I like just imagine it changes every day. This hearth and home really puts the hearth in the hearth and home. <laughs> hearth and home! I'm gonna miss mom's cooking. It's mom's pie safe. It keeps all her pie safe. <laughs> You don't want no pie thieves going around. I miss meals with my family. My little brother's room. 
covered with all his weird diagrams and charts. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flips through it. For Lucigen Uber Zalet Theory. Just the title page gives me a headache. Adrian, put up. <laughs> I have no clue what that even is. Hold on, wait, something about a theory. It's a soup or something, right? Hold on, wait. I got, I, I, got, I, got Google, I got Google Translate on my phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, right. Translate it, translate it. There, let me get the camera. Give me Cinematic a blur. It's loading. Le Sorry, lectures like on number sense. theory. That's what that says. Oh, uh, the math book. Oh, this is a arithmetic, Roman arithmetic, maybe. Corpus a grin somewhere. Or it's your kid brother's play box. A puzzle cube. Puzzle cube. Oh yeah, baby. We got oh, the puzzle you cube. Got it. It's in your inventory. Your stuff. Your gear. Fiddle with you. it. Hell yeah. Hey. We got another XP. That We're about to hit level it. up before even leaving the house. Right. Damn, so my brother has a tidy room, and also he's a math nerd. He cares about all the smart big brain stuff. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yup, it's that book you wanted from Crimbo. I know it's early, but... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, stats. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Ryan, you know, what do you think? Bean slinger. We, I, even though a few of these are probably better, RPGs, man, picking locks. You gotta pick locks. All right. What about picking locks? Oh boy. That's the one. Enjoy it. You got an item, locks, and how to pick them. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs she you. I will, Mom. Goodbye. This pa. Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. <laughs> that hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll go into it. <laughs> it's time for me to leave. <laughs> Listen, his whip quivers a little. Listen, I, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's favorite can of beans. Can of infinite beans. <laughs> infinite beans. Thanks, Dad. Good, good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. <laughs> goodbye, Dad. Okay. Oh, that's our brother right there. Do you see oh, him? Oh, there's the <laughs> man. Oh, man. Nerd. oh, here we go. Here's a weapon. It's our weapon. You'd think a can with an unlimited number of beans in it would be really exciting, but these beans are pretty terrible. <laughs> it is a pretty cool <laughs> thing to carry around, though. And then this let's go the read this lockpick book. Lockpicking expertise. Nice. After you're done reading it, you donate it to the local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. <laughs> the orphans go! <laughs> Get out of there! <laughs> the orphanage is the oppression. <laughs> What's up, bro? Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle back. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting it with it. Hey Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a good point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? I think we already established that we're we're here for the fortune. Hell it's the yeah. power vacuum for the beans. There's just no opportunity here, kid. If I'm gonna make something of myself, I gotta go where I can make some meat. But it's so dangerous. Sixty percent of the people who go west get killed within a year, and that statistic is before the cows came home. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. Is Crimbo Christmas? No, Crimbo's Crimbo. Okay. 
Do you not celebrate Crimbo at your house? No. <laughs> Dude, it's a really good holiday. You should start. You should look it up. It must be a Midwest thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. You give him a playful punch on the arm. Good thing I'm not a cow puncher. He'd have died. <laughs> I'm a dick through the haystack. I found a hey, needle! We got the needle in the haystack, baby. It's not the for someone. Right it's for picking locks. Oh, that's good for us. Is there anything out east? Oh, time to head west. Yeah, we're not trying to go east. We're going west, buddy. Oh, <laughs> he's just barely holding it together. It's probably best for him. If you just go, oh, <laughs> Yo, get out of here! Go west, young man! He's gonna ride across the Great Plains. Look at us going west. Our dream. It's not great. Are we on turnips? I think those are turnips. It's our good old turnip truck. It's the turnip... What are those, carriages? Yeah. Turnip carriage? Got a little turnip carriage. Like it's not so bad, but it could have been better. Like beans, it could have been beans. It could have been on the bean carriage. That's true. But that's why we're going west. We're gonna change this world, baby. We're gonna turn these turnips into beans. That's a feat. And society won't stop us. Two hundred miles later. <laughs> Dirt water, 300 miles. Jesus. No, no. we fell off the turnip carriage. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> well, <laughs> the bad man. news is that you fell off that cart and got knocked out for a couple hours. Oh my god. And now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. The town of Boring Springs. Yeah, we got a dusty turnip. Get a fella here. Have a drink. Hit, hit, peace. Oh, shit. <laughs> Crap. Did you take damage from that? I don't know. Didn't say. Hey, you look fine. Okay. Wait, I don't have a stomach? Oh, okay. Interesting, alright. So that's our limitation. A sign on the door reads, Gone Dreakin'. Ah, oh, <laughs> I stepped in shit. <laughs> you walked right into it. The Sherf. The Sherf. <laughs> What's this guy? Trade. He's trading soap! Step right up, step right up! Braid's the name and trades the game! <laughs> you seriously doubt that his name is Braid? Howdy, Braid. What are you trading? Well, sir, today I am trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. And to the cunning Skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides. Well, to that adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. Damn, alright. No trades for now. Good to know. Get lost! Uh, Is that a guy inside the, the cactus? <laughs> you approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Uh, Howdy, cactus man. Howdy yourself. The name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. And that's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, that's just a coincidence. Oh, does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. Oh, haha. <laughs> no, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation processes inside the cactus part of me keeps uh, the cactus part of me keeps me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it's a mild boring. Yeah, I bet. It won't be so bad if I had something to read. 
You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? No, sorry. Well, if you happen to find one, keep me in mind. Will do, Bill. Boo, poor Bill. Oh, Bill. Topeka, 60, 60 miles. miles. Nope, you're not allowed in Topeka anymore. <laughs> remember? <laughs> I don't, I don't remember. Saloon start. I guess we're going to the saloon. Or the sheriff. What do you think? That's the sheriff. The sheriff. Let's talk to the sheriff. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? He signs. The sheriff. Okay. Blasted sign painters. <laughs> so you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? Uh, it depends on the work. Well, how does this grab you? There's a gang of hoodlums around here that call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted out and took my cell door with them. It ain't, uh, well, it ain't much good without the door. And? And I need somebody tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. Why don't you do it? You're the sheriff after all. I gotta stay here and practice my chair tipping. <laughs> okay, I'll give it a shot. Buddy, you should say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. He takes a pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. You got the deputy oh, okay. pistol. <laughs> <laughs> deputy? You deputize a gun? You're new in town. Maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do here except drink. Here, let me write down where the Fricker Gang's hideout is for ya. He makes a little note on your map. You discovered a new map location. The Fricker Gang's hideout. You <laughs> got it. I'll be back with the door. Wanted for bird theft. Naked Mike Bernstein. Wait, specifically naked Mike Bernstein? Specifically. Like if, he was if he was clothed, he wouldn't be wanted anymore? I guess not. No. <laughs> I hope he didn't steal our bird. Oh, I'd be so sad. Help wanted. Po poster artist. Apply in person at the Yuma Marshal's office. <laughs> Bimmy Fricker for face, Steven. <laughs> he steals <laughs> faces? Dang, that's brutal. There's a dirty mug here. Yeah, Check this out. Up. We got the dusty turnip. Increases your muscle, mysticality, and moxie by one for the rest of the day. Oh, it's only for a day. Yeah. A dirty glass mug. The bottom is stout. Property of Boring Spring Saloon. Returned if re uh, reward if returned. Cool. Ooh. That's well, lucky we reward, went there baby. first. <laughs> <laughs> As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey! Where is your hat and thing, nabbit? Well, I... You can't drink in here without a hat and damn proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Check out the box. You look through the hat box and find a magical black Stetson. That looks like something you'd wear. Grab it. <laughs> Barely a chanted hat. You grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, uh... uh Beat! Thanks, Beat. Gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy, nod. Say, feller. Yeah? You heading out west? We just want some company and be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, uh... No pressure. Alright, I'll keep it in mind. Damn, dude, he's, he's fucking zonked, bro. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, oh, he's having a time right now. You already have a hat, what would you do with two? Let's go read the description for the hat. Don't be fooled by all the stars, there ain't got much magic in it. <laughs> Dang. Only our magic cowboy hat could do the work. And this pistol was deputized during one of Sheriff's most recent benders. Speak softly and carry a crude stick. I like that. Alright. Should probably leave him alone. Is there spit in here? <laughs> it's the spittoon. People spit into it. You know, without even looking in it. If that that is absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna look into it. 
Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And the smell. Even from a distance, it smells horrible. Look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filth encrusted spittoon. <laughs> I don't... I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottle? <laughs> Hell yeah. Ugh. Oh, this is so gross. You reach your hand toward the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horn. It smells like the vomit tough out of the trough out of mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender. You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes it sound like glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Search. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrine slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of a ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. I got nasty ass ring. I hope y'all weren't eating during that. <laughs> Though getting this rig was traumatic, you have to admit that it was worth it. Hell Look yeah! <laughs> Look at the stat increase, baby! Look at that. This guy's sleeping. He's zeezing. These two are playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating really hard. Good luck, you two. I don't have money. Oh, but wait. They don't have me. You walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading, Reward for Lost Mugs, 25 meat each. Keep waiting. The bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Bell John. Who brings you to our little backwater? Ask about work. Oh, the usual. I came out west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up by dirt water. Let's ask about the errands first. You mentioned errands? Yeah, this forsaken burg is always falling apart in one way or another. The hostlers always need help, needing help since he hurt his leg. And that no-count sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I've got a goblin loose in the basement, some uh, cowpoke and from Gulch didn't wipe his boot off and got spores everywhere. I could probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement for you, door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. Weak fungicide. I'll take care of it. Alright, let's see here. The liquid in this can is actually very powerful, it's just that it's tailored to kill weak fungi. Cool. Effectively, it's Let's give it a good old try, huh? Oh my god. What uh, is this? Huge, <laughs> dude. Oh, we got some. Oh, some nice. We can get that to Cactus Bill. Uh, a crate of Nurse brand whiskey. Good for what ails you. Take a bottle. I guess we never established your age. Good thing the legal drinking age here is can reach the top of the bar. Alright. Got I like the dynamic shadows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see him drinking before. The goblin shots pre art. Alright, goblin. Got the jump on him. Assuming the target's a goblin. Alright, easy peasy. Easy. Having dispatched the goblin, you pat yourself on the back for a job well done. And I Damn leveled up. Good. We got gumption. Two speed, one maximum speed, one spleen capacity. Now we get a, we get her done her. Well, that was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't even know if we needed that fungicide though. Probably could have kept it. Howdy! Howdy, good to see you again, Bill John. 
I took care of the goblin. Thank you kindly, Belgeon. I know you were standing up there the moment you walked in here. Reaches under the bar and grabs a bag of meat. There you go. It's the least I can do by way of thanks. 200 meat. Tip your hat. How's the fun as mug? Much of black. Dude, we're so rich now. 225 meats. Who's this feller at the bar next to me? Well, my might be you should ask him yourself, seeing as he's right right, right here. He won't bite you. Okay. Well, let's go get that that uh newspaper. Gotta help out Cactus Bill. Can you bring me something to read? Give him the newspaper. Much obliged, partner. Now let's see here. What can I do to return the favor? Oh. I know, my shovel. I left it behind the outhouse at the old hole mine. It's yours if you go and get it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Behind the outhouse at old hole mine. Got it. Thanks, Bill. Don't mention it. Now, if you could kind of just stick that newspaper in my face before you leave. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He's good and ready. Survive the night. Howdy, I'm Bell John. Howdy, Bell John, I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. The hell's a hostler? I have no clue, dude. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm the town horse selling guy. Gotcha. He's a horse hustler, a hostler. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> uh, how's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming. Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh. Is that why you're here drinking instead? Yep. And me and being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably why they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of boring one. But it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Okay. The woman glares at you. I'm just gonna let her drink. <laughs>